Hey, is that gal really coming? You really think she'd announce a plan stealing to every living person before she acts? And she even made a security plan for us. <laughs> well, I'll say. She's either a maniac or a freaking crime genius. It is mine now. Are you satisfied with the answer, Miss AC? One last to go, Melania. The Rimmick Cup. Now, does anyone not want to visit the Rimmick Cup? Raise your paw, please. All right, it's unanimous. New Humans is a robotics company doing the right calls. They have never failed any mission as a security. I'm sorry, Mr. Iverson. Actually, I didn't know my entrance would be so straightforward. Catch them! believe someone has found me. Am I exposed? The puppy is asking for your help. <sighs> All right, puppy. Let's make a deal. company announced they'd offer another reward for the 13th International Jewellery Show. The company claimed that the person who filches the heart of London can collect a £1 million reward at number 15 Bond Street. Reliable news sources reveal that several people have failed and been arrested, including big names like Greedy Jack, crime duo Payne and Drizzt, Excuse me? Hello? Excuse me, the beautiful lady in black. Are you interested in the news of today? Grab a copy. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you've turned around. That's to say... Ah, you're... Sorry, my... My bad. I didn't notice your... Uniqueness. No need to apologize, warm-hearted child. Could you please read me the news of the day? I will pay appropriately. Sure, my generous lady. Please, sit right here to get away from the crowds. <clears throat> Hope you don't mind my raspy voice. <laughs> London faces severe public security issues. Approval rating might drop. Ace Cafe prepares for motorcycle road racing. Government failed to halt. Rock Pirate hijacks radio frequency, claiming fun is about to begin. Artistic freak on street. Police warning over colourful bubbles. will be a fantastic plot to start the story.
Oh, we are here with full sincerity, Sergeant William. Certainly. You made all our headlines. Londoners know what you've done. However, your proposal for security companies in maintaining the security of London doesn't conform to the principles of law enforcement. What's more, the public is still alert to security companies. You know, after the Ramirez incident, people no longer trust security companies. Ramirez? Oh, Jesus. Why do you compare us with an arcanist company? They never make any security plans, nor do they resort to weapons or force. The only thing they have is the stupid brainwave, which definitely brings all kinds of trouble. They even claim possessing the imagination that goes beyond all thieves. Good heavens, do you believe that? Why would a security company think as a thief? Well, hard to believe, though. They did create many miracles, just like what you are doing. <laughs> Security that lives on the irrealistic imagination can amaze the public shortly, but the efficacy never lasts long. We are not that desperate to deceive the public with a fake trophy, nor will we commit suicide in the fear of punishment like their founder. Sergeant William, please trust us that New Humans is a robotics company doing the right cause. We have a well-formulated guidance on security. This is our latest product, Security Control Type 1. It carries abundant security measures including tear gas, endive worm powder, magnetic interference unit, and can detect any threat within a radius of 5 meters. Most importantly, it is fully under control and reacts to emergencies with 173 inbuilt programs. I think it is a reliable helping hand of our police officers. Just like now, if we switch on its sensor... <gasps> Suspicious invader detected. Location right under the first office desk. The second, the third. The target is moving quickly. Is it going wrong? It never goes wrong. Hey! <clears throat> hey! Gentlemen, and this very sensitive robot friend. Hello? Ugh. You! Again? Where's... Thompson, get in here and kick him out right now! W wait wait I just want to talk to you about the watering car. Look... I've told you a hundred times, nobody ever cares about those God knows what pop elements. Pop! Yes! Pop! You just spoke it out! Currently, Pop is still too avant-garde, so... I'm very glad to meet someone with the same taste. That's because you've tediously repeated it for ages. So you can understand our philosophy, and I believe others will... I get it. This is a malicious rule breaker. Such kind of violation can be tackled by the security plan installed in our robot. Sergeant William, here is another reason why London needs our robot. Robot? It's the new measure prepared for all discontented rule breakers like you. 
it will stop all your willful actions. Any violations will be severely restricted by our security robot. It looks not reliable at all. And it's not as soft as police dogs either. You should try shaking hands with those fluffy shepherds. It helps shape the emotional system of your robot. Puppies are friendly, lovely, and they can read your mind. Oh, such a lame idea. Some people don't like those plushy quadrupeds. It's so difficult to get their hair off our nose and clothes. Oh, and their smell stinks. Sergeant? Now I will present you Security Control Type 1, Moralization. It has an all-round precaution plan installed for all citizens. And of course it knows how to cope with you hooligans. It doesn't rely on some impalpable imagination. Totally controllable? For sure. Hey! Malfunctioning, you iron monster? Keep away from me! What's in your hand? Put, put it down! That's rude! We want peace, not war! Pay for thy sins with my blood! As you've seen, Sergeant William, our robot excelled. According to our research data, New Humans is winning the public. People trust robots. They are looking forward to a safer and more peaceful London. Wow. The talent Mr. Robot just presented is stunning. Please don't believe the nonsense he just said. London needs imaginative art parties. It needs street fairs for everyone to get their voice heard. London is utopian. I will throw a feast for more people to have fun. By then, our philosophy will hit the headlines of all newspapers and become a new title trend. Everyone will get to know and fall in love. Really? But we only receive countless complaints. About you, particularly. Uh, uh, people just need some time to digest. London has been in chaos for too long. We need to thoroughly and completely root out all dangers and threats. I'm in total agreement, Mr. Iverson. I think New Scotland Yard will further consider the importance of security robots in London. Disapprove! This is a violation of civil rights and a defiance to liberty! Mr. Iverson, bad news. The heart of London is gone. What? Oh! It's beautiful. This is what father used to protect. But it is mine now. <laughs> the 
robots can't tell real fire from fake. Just a few sheets of nitrate flash paper, they'd turn on all the fire sprinklers loyally. Then, a steady stream mixed with slug essence from the fire water reservoir gushed out of the sprinkler heads. Miss AC, did you see how the robots were glued to the floor, unable to move? If they had emotions, they would have cursed me to death. <laughs> Are you satisfied with the answer, Miss AC? One last to go, Melania. <sighs> what a strict mentor. No worries. I will get back to the hotel as planned. Right on the dot. <laughs> the next stop is room 1132, Insomnia Nighty Hotel. Get to Regent Street. Take a rest on the bench at the fifth flower bed for three minutes and 25 seconds. Then turn into the lane next to Honey Candy House. <sighs> Miss AC? On your right. <laughs> What's going on? Fire engine. Bubbles? Is this the latest way to extinguish fire? But why is it here? <coughs> there seems to be something wrong with the bubbles. Not good. Leave. Oh, right. Only three minutes left. I, I must go now. Don't stand in the way, hey? Huh? That's not the direction, boy. Ah, I see. That's a ski resort on the snowy mountain. Best place for vacation. Youngsters, friends who are passionate or reserved. Welcome to the Bang Bang Frisbee Rock and Roll Party! This is an improvised and liberated event of art that everybody can join. This is the Utopia, where you can totally voyage far, even with myopia. This is our world in the future. <laughs> yeah! Who's this? Ugh, a knob head causing traffic jams on my way? There's no time. <sighs> okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Just fix these bubbles. There must be something that works. Uh, disguising caps, sticky balls, hiding cups. Found it! The smart detergent gun! 23 detergent bowls at one shot. In a flash, it will make this place shiny as new. <laughs> Perfect answer. Give me back my empty streets.
don't. It's super absorbent. other enthusiastically. Take it away. It is the summon of your Terpy, the revelation of Terpsichore. Haha, <laughs> thank you so much. That avant-garde, courageous and innovative girl in the leather cap. These unplanned and inexplicable things. Ah, I think I'm also affected by the visions. The traffic is totally congested. No chance to get back to normal in 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Honey Candy House, Insomnia Nighty Hotel, calm down, Melania. You've sorted out a roadmap of all the blocks in London. You need a new plan. A bold new plan. Magazines, your handbags, everything. Celebrate! <laughs> hey, that's my magazine. What are you doing? What are you going to do with Miss AC? Give it back to me! He's mad. Radio waves are everywhere. Hey. Everywhere. Jeez. I can't tell his strength just from his appearance. Whew, well. Um. Miss Melania, thank you for your, uh bewildering variety of gadgets. I would have been in trouble otherwise. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Time is over. My plan. It, it all... Miss? Oh no, you're not under the influence of reflective bubble, are you? Oh, that's not good. You need to wake up before the police come. The police? You're right. I haven't finished my answer sheet. There are way more important things to do. I can't get stuck here. <sighs> Please, show me to the hotel, the one nearest to here and farthest from the police station, if you really want to thank me. Uh, rest in? Maybe you could take your chances there. A better choice would be Insomnia Nighty Hotel, but apparently the way there is blocked by the stupid fire engine. Rest in is around the third corner down the lane from here, by the way. Stay away from those nutters dancing in bubbles, and keep an eye on your handbag, so you don't end up like me. <sighs> I managed to grab it from the newsagents, and this is what happened. 
Oh, my Rimmick Cup legend. I bought it for my collection precisely because of the column topic in this issue. The Rimmit Cup? Yes, you know it too. The same trophy that was won by Brazil four years ago. It's suddenly missing during the exhibition and was replaced with a counterfeit by a thief where nobody knew. The security company failed to do anything and thus paid out a huge compensation. The genuine thing was only found in the trash months later. And that legendary trophy has now arrived in London. It will be the most wonderful award given to the winner. party for England and it's the biggest ever <laughs> pickles pickles come on mr. Charlton are you all right it's March still quite a long way to go before the World Cup final is it <sighs> thank you for reminding me I need to tell Pickles in case he goes there for nothing. Pickles? My little Pickles! <sighs> he shouldn't have let his guard down. The bubbles from the fire engine must have been turned into a sort of life form by some specific incantations. <sighs> Poor Mr. Charlton. I suggest you try some of this. Stinky Mud Freshener. It cleans the air nearby with its brutal destructive power. Only with a slight side effect. so much better now. Huh. I almost couldn't breathe. <laughs> hey! Thank you, Miss Melania! God bless you and have a safe journey! You're welcome, Mr. Charlton. I think the stinky mud freshener would suit you better. God bless you to find your little pickle soon.
Hmm. The front door of A's Cafe faces the North Circular Road. It is around 4.803 miles from the destination. Captain Regulus drives at 65 miles an hour. Given the rules of the racing, she will arrive earlier. There is a lovely puppy. Hello, Mr. Puppy. Mr. Puppy. Are you hungry? Perhaps it is not a good time to fall. Please don't show me your tongue at random. Makes this apple feel stressed out. Captain, help. I seem to light up when I mentioned my captain. If Captain Regulus finishes the racing trouble free, I might introduce you to her. But now, let's stay away from each other, puppy. <coughs> oh? It seems you are quite interested in Captain Regulus. Wandering across high seas, she is a great pirate who never gets caught by all the Orwellian and the Conservatives. Is my explanation precise enough? I hope my wording meets Captain's requirement.
I think you will like her. Most of the time we are wandering in London. Captain is fond of anything novel and funny. Oh, I am sorry, little puppy. I have to go. Captain Regulus seems to be in trouble. I really enjoyed our conversation. Hope I can fully understand what you say next time. Or maybe I can invent a tool to help us communicate. See you, puppy. Bark, bark. Freeze! Routine check. Your fire engine driving license, please. Hello, Mr. Officer. Again? Within a month, you visited the police station 13 times. Stirring the pointers at Big Ben, dawdling at 10 Downing Street, dying Tower Bridge with waterproof paint, this time you threw a messy street party, didn't you? Uh, it was not a mess, police officer. You're suspected of breaking traffic laws. It's reasonable for us to arrest you right now. Uh, wait, police officer, what? What I did is legitimate. I've applied for the use of fire engine to the sergeant and got approved. Please, feel free to check, Mr. Officer. Huh? <sighs> I can't believe the sergeant would approve such a ridiculous application. That's what he approved. But how are you gonna justify those weird bubbles? Which one are you referring to? The laser bubble that reflects people's dreams? It caused all the people at the square to fall into a deep sleep for two whole days. They experienced the most unexpected but best holiday ever. Honestly, I really envy them. Or you mean the classic work of mine, the Reverie Bubble? If it's convenient to you, could you please disclose the feedback of other officers? I need some inspiration to revise my formulas. What did those officers see when they enjoyed my bubbles? Surrendered criminals or promotion announcement? Enough! This time, we will absolutely find out the odd ingredients in the bubbles. You can't deceive all of us. Only if you guys can open the water tank. At least up to now, you don't have enough evidence, Mr. Officer. Fine. 
I now ask you to cooperate with our investigation as the witness. Ugh. All right. I'll stay here till you find new evidence. Eye on him. Yes, sir. Doing. Get up off the floor. <sighs> Nighty night. Fraudster. You know me? Damn it! I knew I had to watch out for you undercover cops lying in ambush around the track. What makes you think I'm an undercover cop? This is stigmatization. Well, you're right. Cops shouldn't be wearing such ragged clothes. What? This... This is a demonstration against the materialistic life, the code of freedom! <clears throat> Though you didn't mistake me with those stupid cops, I still suggest you better distinguish us. Ha! A humorous suggestion, ragged lad. There are some slight scratches on the code. The transmission system functions well. The braking system is not very well. Mr. Apple! You're back! Ah, your vehicle looks fine. Captain, are you alright? No, I'm not! I could have run this, but it all went to pot! The ragged lad ruined my game. My chance to be a podium winner! He ruined a rising racing star! <clears throat> I need to warn you again that any defamation might cause a lawsuit. <laughs> it was your fault! You broke into the trap, Rapid Lad! Sir, uh, the lawsuit you were talking about. Are you referring to those who are approaching? What? Bloody hell. They found me. Canopy Street, call for backup. According to the latest update from Sergeant William, his seal has been stolen. The suspect diggers is suspected of committing a series of crimes, including illegally using fire engines, forging police ID, attacking police officer. <laughs> we also found someone illegally held an MRR competition on the street, and the suspect is likely Regulus, the rock pirate on the wanted list. <sighs> you two, freeze. Cooperate with our investigation. Regret. 
Is he all right? Maybe, if all his statements are to be believed. Do you remember what he said at the end? He told us to read tomorrow's newspaper, the headline. Is that an obituary or something? Mr. Apple, I'm going to add a special session for rock radio tonight. What? The worst beginning and the best ending to Al Forever, Ragged Lad. Finally, I'm back. 25 minutes and 38 seconds. <sighs> I can't believe I'm 15 minutes late. Ugh, blame it all on that bloody fire engine. Still need to work on your flexibility. <sighs> I'm trying, Miss AC. Now, the final step. Yes, the final step. Take a photo of the reunion. Although there was a little challenge at the end, I was able to complete the answer sheet successfully. Um, what if I enjoyed the photo shooting? Twitching eyebrows, stiff smile... You'll like him. <sighs> no, I'll be better, Miss AC. Unpredictable imagination won't be enough. A better plan with more details is also required. I won't let go one single minute until I accomplish the ultimate goal. I became a thief late in life, so I'm not yet good at dealing with emergencies beyond the plan. But, at least so far, I've given the correct answer to every question for the left. These are what father used to protect. <sighs> You've done a great job. Thank you, Miss Hazy. There's only one question left. The key question. The Rimmick Cup. If I recapture father's memories and glories... Is it enough to make up for his regrets? Father, will he understand me? Maybe you should meet him. <sighs> okay. It has been some time. When the company went bankrupt, we couldn't even afford a decent cemetery. I wouldn't be surprised if a few wild animals jump out of nowhere in this desolation. Excellent judgment. Critters! 
It seems they've made this place their playground. Sorry, this is not the shiny crap you want. It's on an important mission. Be careful. Radio waves are everywhere. Whew. It's a rather wise decision to carry around Ziz popping nuts. Father, I brought the heart of London for you. Do you remember it? That dim thief got sidetracked by the surprising slug spray and broke into the security room with it. After that, he turned over a new leaf. And things unattended have never come to his mind. What I'm going to face is completely different from a poor little thief. That new security company had carefully arranged robots. They took action by the book and were heavily guarded. But there's no creativity in their defense. All actions were exactly as they were in the guidance on security. Not even as surprising as a fire engine. It should be the best of times for thieves. I'm sorry. I can't leave it to you. It needs to be sent to Sergeant Williams' office tomorrow evening on time. As evidence, it's quite important. But I have some interesting news. The world seems to have changed a lot. Today we have Mr. Iverson from the New Humans Company, which provides security services for the soon arriving Rimmit Cup. As an experienced head of the company, he would love to share the stories of the Rimmit Cup with us. Years ago, the Rimmit Cup was under the protection of the most well-known security company, Ramirez, but magically disappeared overnight. It only took one day for Ramirez to retrieve the cup. This flourishing company received waves of compliments, and people were celebrating the story of a false alarm. Everyone, including us, thought Ramirez defended their reputation. But, unfortunately, evidence from the verification agency showed that the Rimmit Cup they brought back was a counterfeit. They were confronted with the pressure of forgery suspect and the disappointment from all the peers. The imagination of Ramirez caused catastrophic havoc to the whole society. We then, after put aside the security theory held by Ramirez and returned to the more science-based and reliable guidance on security. As it turns out, any security theories without regulations are castles in the air. <laughs> it's a pure joke. <laughs> <laughs> what a sharp comment. Security measures require pre-built plan, advanced equipment, and reliable personnel. Ridiculous imagination is the last thing. The ideal answer to all of these can be taken from the new human security robots. Father, when you were assigned the mission to protect the Rimmick Cup, did you ever imagine such a day would come? If we had conducted a quality check on that Rimmick Cup after receiving it, if we had investigated the transaction records of the client company, if we had verified the list of patrol officers, perhaps I would not be talking to your silent tomb today. <sighs> G. 
Cheer up, father. I will prove it all. Even if it'll lead me to a path different from yours. Real protection is more than defense. It's about attack. Mr. Iverson needs to learn a harsher lesson. Time no see. Regulus, why are you here? I met you the day before. You show up so often these days. Did you get rid of those scouts? <laughs> they don't have time for me right now. Yesterday, Captain Regulus encountered a weirdo. Right. Ragged Lad claimed to have left us his last words in the newspaper. Uh, Captain, I'm afraid what he said was a surprising note. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Tommy, what's on the front page today? Here, yeah, see for yourself. The Rimmick Cup exhibition starts today. Carnival for fans. New Humans has announced to undertake the Rimmick Cup exhibition. More security robots will be put into use to replace human jobs. If all goes well, the security systems will be introduced to the police after the exhibition. London will embrace real peace. Far more reliable than humans, meticulous enforcers, an all-round urban security landscape. It seems London will tighten the regulations. The government plans to launch security robots. Stubborn tin monsters! Yes, according to the description on newspapers, those robots can block out mobile signals and change the regional magnetic field. I'm afraid our broadcast will be affected. Can we still borrow others' radio waves? <sighs> of course we can't. Ugh, crap! What kind of surprising note is this? If the robots take over London, my plans for a pirate's gig will go down the drain! New humans. I get it. Ragged Lad is part of the robots team. Or maybe even a badass boss trying to take control of London. No wonder he seems to have a problem with the cops. Blimey! This one is huge! Are you going to provide your first hand to the press? They must be interested. Never mind. He saved us once after all. A friend will persuade him to abandon this evil plan. Captain Regulus will never forget friendship for profit. Damn shame. That's a heap of dosh. He can even get your cycle some fancy equipment. Huh? Tell me first, how much do they pay? Captain... I, I was just curious. Just kidding. I have to go and do something more important now. Cheers, Tommy. Bye. I'm here if you change your mind. Breaking. 
Gemini 8 conducted first manual docking in space. Oh. Fifth Fluffy Sports Meeting is coming. Interested candidates, please sign up with your pet. Uh... Police notice. A man controlled a watering car with special means and deliberately violated public transit. He will be detained for three days as a punishment. How come? Party theme, the key points of my speech, host, future trend of art. None are mentioned. <sighs> a brand new world was born yesterday. But most people don't have a chance to celebrate. Gloomy clouds haunt the sky of my utopia. Shame on London. Shame on the world. We need to change. Radical change. We won't be corrupted by entertainment. The bell of art will break the shackles of stubbornness. London has been trapped in long and dreadful night. What it needs is the sun, not the dull stars. Deserted street won't attract many people. We've been used to following the crowd. They can only spot the noticeable objects. We must throw a grand party of art to topple the mainstream, to blow more people's minds. And it shouldn't be contained only to streets. I get it. I get it. The eye-catching exhibition hall of the Rimmet Cup will become the unprecedented, the craziest, and the perfect stage. Wendy, I've told you so many times, no picking up litter on the road. What have you brought back this time? Open your mouth. Ah. <sighs> Luckily, there's nothing dirty on it. It really messed with my head yesterday. I almost forgot something very important. Kids, look! Look at what good news our little Wendy has brought home. The Rimmick Cup exhibition starts today! Now I have a better idea. How about visiting the Rimmick Cup exhibition this afternoon? I 
I heard that they will be doing a lottery at the exhibition. The luckiest guy gets full tickets to all the World Cup rounds. Our little Pickles is definitely a lucky pup, just like every other draw before. Excited? There's a chance to get an out of print signed football there. Then we'll have a new toy for our ball game. <laughs> Calm down, Wendy. We will have a democratic voting session. Now, does anyone not want to visit the Rimmit Cup? Raise your paw, please. All right, it's unanimous. me you won't make a scene when we're outside and no yelling at strange things all right mom <sighs> security screening passed the warrior of the new era successfully arrives at the final battlefield with his magnificent bubble device they are waiting for a gale. This is going to be the critical transition of our time. without airflow is like a pond of dead water. The soap bubbles of a new world can't blow in. But a real artist never loses the guts and grit. If everything goes on smoothly, I can blow enough soap bubbles to create an ocean of reveries within half an hour. I just need to cover myself. bubbles indoors <coughs> what a funny smell oh bollocks I'm exposed in just a minute oh I need to hurry up these bubbles are far from enough Hey, 
see. Seriously, you should respect and treat an artist fairly. Ugh, there you are again, annoying hooligan. I don't think I can understand what you're thinking. Are Arcanus all so stupid that you always overestimate yourselves? I am not defeated, Mr. Iverson. The fire of art will never be extinguished. Just like our craving for utopia never ceases. Annoying blabber. Though I don't know what stupid idea is lingering in your brain, obviously you just failed again. Utopia is not stupid, sir. Without a goal, life would be stuck in the mess of corrupting materials and entertainment. I'm sure, soon enough, people will have the courage to speak up and sing for peace and love. I've met a lot of young people like you who chase unrealistic fantasies. <laughs> Ignorant and hilarious. Great. He walked away. I've entered the exhibition hall of the Rimmet Cup. I can't make any mistake starting now. Climbing through ventilation ducts is just a slight sacrifice in order to awaken the rebellious spirit of everyone. <coughs> this doesn't look clean at all. Anyway. At least it's much better than wasting my time in the cage. I can barely see. Oh, my reverie bubble solution. Shoot, it's in my eyes. Oh, it's itchy. <coughs> Bless me, Talia. Hope the efficacy takes effect a bit slower. All the fuses were changed recently. I'm guessing the head of security here is a pretty tough nut to crack. But unfortunately, too much attention to the guidance on security will probably lead to carelessness in other areas. Transferring all the human security staff and relying solely on the patrol and precaution of robots. The consequence? is a 30-second blind spot in the monitored areas every 4 hours, 13 minutes, and 2 seconds. That gives you the chance to change the fuse here. That's right, Miss Acey. I will prove the ineffectiveness of the guidance on security in person and start the show at just the right moment. Then our next plan is meet up with all the security robots.
Suspicious invader detected. Locating. The last one. Um, you seem a bit smarter than the other robots. Locating failed. Initiate program two. Pushpin glue gun. Oops. No noise. I have to be quick. Watch out for its detectors. I weave the gown with thorns. You shall repay the sacrifice of wounds. out. It's not tear gas or electrode bug spray. These robots are actually using real military ammunition. This violates the guidance on security that has been strictly followed all the time. Is Mr. Iverson actually new at security? <laughs> no, no way. The only possible reason is that he's unscrupulous. For his security announcement. <laughs> I know their slogan. No humans promise. The Rimmick Cup will be absolutely secure. Everyone's happy to accept the hyperbole, and believes it to be true. <laughs> we need to hurry. Degrees left and move 13 steps farther. The core device of the ventilation system is located in the third room on the left side of the exhibition hall. There's no necessary living conditions and lighting. Normally, no one will be there. I will have plenty of time to adjust the airflow. that's over-fermented. <gasps> oh, there you are. You are... What's going on? There's actually an ambush here. <laughs> it hurts all over. But is this my reverie? Or really heaven? I can't tell. Could it be a form of art created by the subtle sense of danger I'm feeling right now? In the dirty air? Come to me. Come to me. You are my muse. Let go! Damn! Did 
I just bump into a human security staff who got fired and went crazy? All right. I'll just think of it as an unexpected additional exam question. Try this. The ground grappling that father used to teach me. Wow! Inspiration. My inspiration never lasts long. Ah, I've never experienced such vivid pain from the reverie. Huh? Still holding on? One more time. Oh! <sighs> Finally, it's all settled. This... this is not reverie. This is a terrorist attack! Cunning... cunning action. Shameful violence. Iverson, you set an ambush here? You crazy addict of imprisonment and war! I must blow your cover! Are you not one of them? Of course not! Um... <laughs> sorry... S stay, stay away from me! You must be the demon that Iverson summoned! You're more horrific than those robots! If I say it's all a misunderstanding... Could... would you understand? <sighs> what do you think? A little reckless. Miss AC, I know. I'm too nervous. <sighs> In no way is there any possibility for him to be a security staff. Sounds like a joke. I must claim that violence is the antonym of art. We should resort to a more sensible means to fight. This is the reason for us to oppose those Iversons who abuse the use of force. Couldn't agree more. I don't intend to abuse the use of force either. It's the biggest difference between Iverson's company and ours. Really? I still feel pain in my neck. It's... It, it's just an accident. As compensation, I will get you out. Fine. Apology accepted. When will we start off? In five minutes. I have to change the terminal valve in the room first. Adjust the position of the deflector in the duct and change the airflow from the spiral fan. Abundant magnetic glue will be blown out of the ventilation ducts by the spiral fan and adhere to the robots. <laughs> the fine glue will paralyze them. Completely. After that, you could just waltz away. Sounds like a big project. Do you need my help? Absolutely. Stay as far away as possible from the regulator valve behind you. Ugh. Captain, isn't our destination supposed to be the Exhibition Hall of the Rimmit Cup? Of course. I think we just missed the front gate at the junction we passed just now. Where we are now looks like a deserted back door. And there is a no entry sign. <coughs> it's not important. 
It's not good for the fan favorite disc jockey to appear in the crowded areas. I don't want to make a noise. Oh, I see. I thought it was because Captain didn't have enough budget. <coughs> That's a complete misunderstanding. Our aim is to convince the ragged lad to expose the evil plans of those tin monsters. Of course we can't just walk in. Mr. Apple, do you remember Tommy's offer of a generous reward? He hopes we can divulge a sensational secret. Captain, it seems you really want that bonus. Of course not! The Righteous Street Pirate has a warm heart. We should do Tommy a favor. And we should accept a friend's quality thanks. I get it, Captain. The great rock pirate saves the day. The cocky, ragged lad is no longer stray. The big hero who saves London takes a series of exclusive interviews. Endless bonus! <laughs> Captain. Captain, watch out! Skin hardness, the voice and the liquid released from the wound have nothing to do with humans. I am afraid they are. Oh, I get it! They're the security robots in the newspaper! Well, it might be. Buddy duddies don't have their beards in their heads, do they? We'll have to change the plan. London must not be taken over by these ugly tin monsters. We need to expose the security robots to the public for what they really are. They're violent, rude, and extremely dangerous! This apple will fight by your side till the very end. No, you have a more important mission, Mr. Apple. Captain Regulus asks you to take over the nearest radio station. Roger that.
Ha <laughs> It says clearly on the leaflet, we welcome everyone who loves football. Yes, mister. Then you should let us in. Me, Wendy, Alice, Nelson and Little Pickles, we all love football. I'm sorry, but no pets are allowed in here. We provide pet keeping services with professional police dog guarding. Good place to go. Have a great time in the puppy land.
Lovely to see you again, puppy with blue eyes. Huh? This apple has accepted a commission from Captain to investigate the venue. Oh, right. Since last time we met, this apple has been contemplating how to communicate with you. So, here it is. A simple translator, Doggy. It's still under testing, so the functions are not complete. Sometimes it just stops working. Also, it might somehow misunderstand dog language. The puppy expresses his gratitude. It's my pleasure. It's a pity that this apple doesn't have adequate time to test it. You'd better leave as soon as possible. Those violent security robots may show up at any time. The puppy expresses his denial. Hmm? There is something very important for the puppy inside. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Let's head forward. In the face of danger, this Appen will do his utmost to assist. How do you find this place at a glance? Have you been here? The puppy expresses his modesty. <sighs> the mission assigned by Captain progresses smoothly. We have a whole set of broadcasting equipment here. Hmm, then we only need to install a corresponding frequency interference device. Captain Regulus can fully control all radio channels within the radius of five kilometers. Bye. 
Oh, bloody hell. Who let this plushy monster in? To... Now this whole place is contaminated by disgusting fur. Achoo! Robots! Drag it out! <laughs> Command received. Alert, alert. Unknown energy detected. What's wrong? You broke down? Risk rating. Request support. Request support. Terrible plushy monster. It, it must be a terrorist. We must put it down right now. All of you, drive it out. No, no, no put it down. What are you doing? Get away from my pickles! It's you who brought it in. I now warn you, your dog is a bloody hazardous uncertainty and we must put it down. What a humbug! He's not hazardous at all! Every one of our neighbours loves him! Let's go! You don't have a voice here. You can't leave either. According to Item 5, Article 172 of the Guidance on Security, security companies have the right to directly deal with any dangerous items when on duty. I command you to hand me your dog. As compensation, we will buy you a more purebred and more friendly dog for helping us wipe out risks. Don't lose your mind to a pet dog. <laughs> What the hell? 
hell are you talking about? He's my friend. You crazy bastard. Would you ever leave your friend alone? Well, fine, maybe you would. Cold-blooded crap. Dead from the neck up. If you don't want to be put onto the World Cup audience blacklist, I kindly request you to stop what you are doing. <laughs> Very well done. But I'll tell you what, you can't threaten me. I'm definitely not leaving Pickles alone. Go f*** the World Cup! <laughs> what a fool. them. Finally. Turn the ventilation system to the highest mode. I don't want any dog fur here. Other robots, go catch that dog! Command confirm. Nasty invader. I'm sorry, Mr. Iverson. Actually, I didn't know my entrance would be so straightforward. I think she knows the situation better than... Huh? Where is she? It seems you are the abandoned poor worm. What else are you going to show me? Any jokes of the never-will-happen utopia? It may be unrealistic, but it is possible. Whoa. Lots of bubbles. Is this the special event of the exhibition? These soap bubbles are... Uh, I see. The 
ventilation system is switched on. The soap bubble device I threw outside is now functioning. Excuse me, may I borrow your broken robots? Stop! What the hell did you do? What are these damn bubbles? Actually, this is a reformation of art. Get down from there, you bastard! Is he provoking the robots? <gasps> he did sign a safety commitment statement, right? My friends, have you been fed up with the dull and dreary reality? Do you want to get rid of this place of cliché and red tape? You once yearned for a better world, a peaceful world with music, Open your eyes and look at the soap bubbles in front of you. Now! And salute to all the transient beauties. Don't you want to try some of these bubbles, Mr. Iverson? We can find a peaceful way to coexist. at it and you'll activate every cell of art. Even iron nerds can sparkle their imagination. Don't tell me your imagination level is null. Joking time over. Your utopia has always been a joke. Only hegemony, hatred, and force can push history forward. Vain revolt is like helpless barking. Perhaps I will be expelled from this impromptu party, away from its artistic beauty, and forced to bid farewell to my new friends. Perhaps people as insensible, cold, and numb as you will become mainstream in the end. But it is not now. The law is above all else.
brilliant. Although there were some unexpected hiccups, our plan went well. The fuse has been changed, bullets replaced, magnets installed. Most robots have been paralyzed. Even Mr. Iverson seems to be at a loss. It's not over yet. Yes, <laughs> it's better to say that the show hasn't yet begun. Let's turn up the light, turn down the air conditioning, and crank up the usage of the radio. Let's see, when will the replace fuse blow? Miss Acey, we don't have much time left. Come on, let me bring you to a hidden place. Hopefully you don't mind swallowing a slightly bulky thing. What tricks did you come up with? This is going to be the most crucial part. <laughs> Please help me, Miss AC. Actually, according to item 18 in the safety commitment statement, we need to arrest the violators who interrupt others' visit. Tie him up and inject Mew Mew Mewtwo potion. I don't want to hear a stupid idea as anymore. Command received. Activate the spraying system. Clean all those damn bubbles. The farce is over. All our guests, please enjoy your visit. Unfortunately, those who were bewitched and violated the safety commitment statement, you will be further investigated after the exhibition. Cheeky dogs! Give my microphone back. My friend! I only took a bite! What's going on? Who let them in? Sorry, Mr. Iverson. There are too many of them.
just in time. <laughs> the sharp pirate captain has arrived at the grandest stage. This is 25 Degrees Deep. You are listening to the Rockin' Apple, the most distinctive ship to date. Salute to all my discerning audience, my loving followers. You get it right. This pirate will hijack all the radio frequencies here. You're able to pick up Radio Apple clearly from anywhere in London. Whether you're cheering for the moment or wish to change the channel, whether you love rock and roll or hate all music, do not switch. If you don't want to miss the moment to unveil a huge stick, a huge conspiracy about the London authorities and the compelling security robot. Boom. My friends, we are in the middle of a huge hoax. The London authorities have deceived everyone. It is impossible to have such obedient, flawless, safe and reliable security robots in this world. On the contrary, they use violence, harm citizens, and show no kindness. What? To cover the backside and block the news, the man in charge, he keeps out the people who want to have fun to visit the Rimmick Cup. Captain Regulus clashed with the robot army at the back entrance of the hall. The brave captain managed to escape and to retreat. But there's no doubt that this is an infringement of our freedom. The incompetent London authorities attempt to work with security companies and use their awful robots to cover. They want to take our life away, render us helpless, so they can manipulate us. What that pirate said, is that true? I am very sure you are deceived. But you did imprison the poor citizen. If that's what you think, I can now prove to you the reliability of new humans' security. Mr. Madbot, you and your evil plan have been overcome by the Justice Captain Regulus. London belongs to us, belongs to freedom! You're right. In such case, security guards are more flexible. You... you mean... Do something! These people are breaking the rules! Are you just going to stand and watch? C copy that! Wha what are you doing? Run! I weave the gown with thorns. You shall repay the sacrifice of wounds. Here, put the tape away. <laughs> this pirate's instincts are never wrong. My assistant, Mr. Apple, has first-hand evidence of everything. It will be the most sensational news. Every news agency will invest millions on it. The next song... For the exasperated poor authority. Huh? Why is the power out?
Mm-hmm. All is ready. Go! Turn on the emergency light! And go check the circuit! Copy that! <laughs> you moron! What are you doing? This is not the emergency light! No, no that wasn't me! The cup! The cup is missing! Flawless protection is just a disguise, while threatening is the essence. In such a dull and dreadful exhibition hall, does anyone still remember? Those stories full of imagination and miracles? Get in there. Yes, it's finally back now. Back to Ramirez. Ramirez? The company that forged the Rimmick Cup and went bankrupt. You are. Oh, it's been a long time. The lead of new humans. The witness to the events that year. And the lucky man who finally retrieved the Rimmick Cup, Mr. Iverson. You know the story of the Rimmick Cup better than anyone, don't you? Who are you? You were repelled by Ramirez's novelty and hated their surprising imagination and miracle stories one after another. Apparently, it is better to follow the rules, even if we fail. We'll have nothing to be blamed. To bury that shining star, the peers jointly forged a rimmed cup and carefully schemed a security commission that was doomed to fail. Bullets! You are a thief! You're not going to defame us! The Ramirez's have a tradition of leaving arcane marks on each item for safekeeping. The marks will be revealed with special cameras. Yes, this is the real Rimmed Cup that we have never protected before. Now, I have finally found the truth. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. You may call me the Great Thief AC. For heaven's sake, she's that thief who stole countless treasures. Or my real name, of course. Melania Ramirez. Mr. Iverson, what shall we do? Don't listen to her. Are you going to believe a thief? But there's no article on guidance that we could follow to deal with a situation like this. Fathead! Put her down, then everything will be fine. Gun ready. Made the worst choice. 
well, it's not surprising. the gown with thorns. You shall repay the sacrifice of wounds. equipment carried by the robots have violated the guidance on security. So, I replaced them with safer firework bullets. <laughs>
sorry, but it's better to destroy the remote control that will place our security at risk as early as possible, okay? Dog! No, not that one. Look at the border collie. He found us the Rimmick Cup. Oh. Puppy ran away. What's he gonna do? <laughs> Feeling sick, disgusting, almost crying. S Sorry, Miss AC. It was me who asked you to swallow too much weird stuff, um, even including me. I swear, when it's all over, I will take you to a professional leather care store for proper treatment. But now, we have to get out of here as soon as possible. Are you finished? Of course. Iverson looks as if he's just swallowed a whole slug slime. Eventually, he's lost to the arcanist imagination. Those journalists who are not in the plan would definitely not miss the big news. It's all a mess here, and we are going to leave with ease now. Unnoticed. <coughs> hmm? What's coming? Our kind of creature. I can't believe someone has found me. Am I exposed? Shh! Wait! Wait! Stop barking! Let's not get the other's attention. An anxious but friendly puppy. All right, puppy. Let's make a deal. The puppy wants to get rid of the current situation. You wanna get out of here? It's not part of the plan, but I can take you for a ride. The puppy is asking for your opinion. What do you want? This? The pigment to make you invisible in a second. No one will see you, including your puppy friends. Oh. Or this? Breeze glider. When you open your arms, or um, your front legs, all it takes is a little breeze and the flying membrane will get you anywhere. Are you going to give everyone a surprise too? Shock them off. It will wake up all the sleepyheads, keeping everyone wide awake. Um, it's often used to deal with those heavy-headed security guards. Where is that puppy? I think it just came this way. A dog retrieved the cup. Mind-blowing news! It will be the star! It sounds weird. 
You have to make your choice, my puppy. Cheers, pup. Hero puppy? Not exactly. I'm his friend. Best friend. Um, would you mind telling us how you raised such a brilliant dog? I guess people will care about the puppy's daily life after the article's published. Well, I often enjoy the symphony with him. Sometimes we'll discuss profound philosophical issues together. Yes, we have quite an extensive collection of books at home. For example, Meditaciones de Prima Philosophia, The Republic, uh, Rhetoric to Alexander. Hmm. That's an informative first-hand material. Thanks for your cooperation, Mr. Owner. It's been a pleasure to be interviewed by you. Pickles, too. That's beautiful. We may have further and more detailed interviews that need your cooperation. A constant stream of interviews, film shoots, and friendly matches with the England national football team will follow. I'm sure the team would also like to thank the hero who guarded the cup in person. The puppy's heroic act may even be highly appealing to film investors. Really? Wandering is my destiny. After an unprecedented and unexpected soap bubble surprise party, none of them left anything improvised about Utopia. Not even one of them mentioning my contribution. All the people ignored a pioneer who created a new era. A monumental event was shamefully compared to a puppy. Art is dead. That's one of the stories I've come across, readers of R2. It's dramatic, full of misunderstandings. Lovely animals, 
and terrifying intrigues, again providing us with a ludicrous ending. I'm glad to have the great honor to share this with you. Wherever you are, whatever you've been, I hope this story will bring you a moment of joy. And I am also sincerely looking forward to your stories.